you're a great crowd. Oh my God, I'm listening back. You're just waiting to go on, you know? But half of you are just happy that you made it out the door. And that's the hardest part about being in a relationship is how long it takes to actually leave the house, right? Because you always have to have that getting ready fight, you know? Where that one of you is all organized, is waiting at the door going, where are you? I told you half an hour ago, you're gonna make me late for the fun. <laughs> the other person's running around the house frantically. I gotta find my keys, all right? Do you know where my keys are? Cause I'll be ready to go as soon as I can find the keys. This person's all like, no, I don't know where your keys are. Mine are here by the door on that key hook thing I installed. <laughs> Marked keys. <laughs> oh look, your hook's empty. <laughs> well, I know where they're not. <laughs> this is what I love about people who are disorganized. They actually have the nerve to do this. You know what? I hear tone in your voice. Okay, <laughs> that attitude you're giving me right now is not helping me find the keys. The more you nag, the longer it's going to take. So actually, the reason we're late is because of you. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. That's before you even walk out the door. You have that getting ready fight, which is always followed by the drive of silence. <laughs> You're just sitting there seething filled with hate, <laughs> running through your limited options. I'll just tell her I'm gonna go park and then forget to mention that I mean in Mexico. <laughs> so one of you, after a good long bout of tension, finally has to suck it up and be the bigger person. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry about the keys. I should keep them on that hook thing. You're right. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> and I'm sorry about the tone. I, I know it doesn't help when you're so stressed like that. Well, thank you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Okay. Be nice if it ended there, wouldn't it? <laughs> A little resentful, but at least it's over. But it never ends there. It's like we're compelled by human nature to always take it to that next level, which is always, it's just that. <laughs> Hope I'm not setting any of you up for the drive home of debriefing. <laughs> oh, she really nailed you, huh? Tell me about therapy, all right? I'm doing the therapy, all right? And I gotta admit, you know, given the kind of person I am, I actually think therapy works in the office of the therapist, just while you're in there, nowhere else. You know, I'll be sitting in therapy, I'm like, wow, this really resonates with me. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try this. And then I go home and visit my parents, I'm like, hey, mommy, it really hurts my feelings when you criticize me all the time. Oh, I'm mother. That's my job. Don't change me. La. <laughs> I'm starting to lose patience in therapy, and you know? I'm really had it with therapy. I walk in there now. I'm like, you know what? You're not doing this fast enough for me. I still don't like this. You got 50 minutes to fix it. Go. No, try something else. That sounds stupid. No, heard that on Oprah. Don't buy it. Come on, keep going. Time's ticking. Let's go. TikTok, 50 minutes. Let's go, 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 go. After an hour, she's in tears. <laughs> Strangely, I feel pretty good about myself. <laughs> <laughs>